Um, any need to amend the agenda? No. Nope. Move motion. to accept. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Um, anything of the meeting minutes of October 18th? <coughs> I didn't see anything. Um, all right, town manager's report. Um, and I've been continuing to work with department heads on budgets. Uh, over the last two weeks, we met with PD, rec director, and, and met with, um, <coughs> well, me to go over town admin. Um, so we'll be here tonight doing that. Um, worked on the bylaw modernization grant app, uh, which we, I submitted on Monday. And um, the next one, I was Donna Wilson and I were working on the municipal planning grant application. Um, we did have quite a bit of assistance from the RPC on this one, and we were able to submit it today, four hours before the deadline. So we're pretty happy about that. <laughs> um, we submitted a grant reimbursement packet for the FY23 grants and aid program. Uh, this covered ditch and culvert work on sections of road on Elm Street, Oxbow, Old Hubbardton, Allen Mills, and Fire Hill, and the award that, that for this year was $27,000. So, um, Ann and Liz have been working on a rec facilities grant to see if we might qualify for funding of a building at the rec center. Um, if the town does in fact qualify, there will definitely be more discussion on that um, with select board and rec committee. So, um, just seeing if we qualify first. What building is that? Um, <coughs> Looking for a building down at REC that would be able to house the REC director and possibly do winter, um, winter programs down there with like pickleball or if there's a best, you know, it's yeah. kind of looking to see if we can make something work down there for basketball or something. Um, and then uh, the haunted house was a huge success. I did actually include an article that was in last week's reporter. Um, so that, that was good to see. It was, I think it was a record, a record year for them. So nice. I know they had to turn a lot of people away the, the first weekend. So, mm. um, it was good. Uh, rec news, October senior luncheon was well attended. I'll just be <coughs> brief on these. Uh, youth basketball registration is open. Season begins after Thanksgiving. Um, rec department accepted a granite bench donation from the Knox family in Chittenden. The bench was placed on the bald peak trail by our highway and water department guys. Um, white flooding on the white trail was due to a beaver dam at the rec center. Rec, the rec department did receive authorization from the game warden to dismantle the dam and remove the beavers. Um, so that's been monitored. Um, rec director is beginning to organize baseball, softball seasons, as well as summer camp. And that's all I have this evening. Did, so she, did she find coaches? Um, They're looking for coaches for U6, I believe, and U12. Oh, okay. She is working on it, though. Yeah. I'm just going to keep my ears out. Yeah, no, she, she posted stuff on some of the social media pages looking for folks. So. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Anybody have any questions for Dave on any of that? Um, any select board member remarks? All right. Any public comment? Um, I noticed that the new speed zone went into effect. It did. I don't remember if you guys had made mention of an effective <coughs> date for it. A lot of people, I don't think, have realized that there's a change in speed because I still see everybody hammering up the hill once they pass Lothrop because they think it's still a 35. Yep. It wasn't until the other day I happened to glance over and I was like, it's 25, not 35. Um, what you might want to consider next time is putting up the sign boards, letting motorists know that it's going to happen because that's what I've seen other towns do. When they put in a traffic light, when they put in a stop sign, they put out the message boards about two weeks in advance to let mm -hmm. people know that there's going to be a change. And then when the change happens, there's officers sitting there yep. monitoring it. Can I answer yeah. that? Yep. So, Joe, the, the reason that we didn't do any of this is this, it's a state highway. So the state actually made the change. If it was our change on our town highway, we'd have to do 
an ordinance changed to our traffic ordinance and actually have public hearings on it mm -hmm. and then there would be along with the traffic <laughs> uh, traffic study and all that other stuff um not necessarily within the village the select board could change it they couldn't go any lower than 25 but they could do it it just would have to be an ordinance change but because so this the is the state that screwed it up and i asked the state about it when i went to the hearing and they said no we don't have to do anything we just go change signs they don't so we got a letter what the week before i think yeah, and they went out and did it so we've been talking about it in here but yeah. That's yeah. It it happened pretty quick. <coughs> so. Any other public comment? All right. Um, old business transfer station discussion. So at the last meeting, I guess was it one or one before we, um, the board approved to put an RFP out for you know someone to look at doing, our, running our transfer station. We did receive one from. Um, the Wyman's which is in front of you mm -hmm. and um, actually Tracy and John and Lauren and Jeremy Jeremy are here um, <coughs> so representing Brookside and Wyman's timber and um, it's pretty pretty um, straightforward on what the proposal is I don't know if there's any questions or if you wanted the Wyman's to talk about any of this or yeah, I think that would be a good idea what I'm, I'm open to questions. Um, you know, as it says, as we wrote in the proposal, um, we would run it, take care of it, mm -hmm. take care of the cost. Okay. Um, it would be a, we go to a per pound uh, structure for the fee. Okay. Uh, except for the recycling, recycling would be a dollar thirty gallon trash bag. Uh, cardboard would be free for the first thirty gallons. The, after that, it would be kind of a judgment thing on ever who's in there, but it, it'd end up to be about like what the um, <coughs> recycle, the commingled recycling would be. Mm -hmm. um, hours, it was 10, you, you have it run right now for 10 hours. We'd run it 10 hours, but we would want to change the hours. We would, we would change the hours. The days would be the same. Okay. Wednesday, we would open it. We'd get five hours on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and we'd get five hours on Saturday. Um, we'd like to be done by one on Saturday because we can dump up till three o'clock um, to, you know, try to keep, especially during the summer, to try to keep trash out of there. Keep it um, dumped the same day and keep it clean. Keep yeah, it right. dumped the same day for, that would, what our goal would be. Mm -hmm. um, and we would <coughs> run it to whatever the way it's being run, I mean, we would, whatever you're doing there now for uh, computer e-waste, um, we would continue to do the same. Okay. Um, compost. I don't know, I, I haven't been down, but I don't know if you do like a yard waste or brush or... Yeah. Um, <coughs> everything, would, everything would be the same there. You still take, the last time I was in there, which was years ago, there was a pile of a pile of steel, or do you put it in containers now, or? Yeah, it's still, it just sits there on the side. Sits on the side. Yeah. Um, Someone's taking it. <coughs> I can tell you right off who's taking it. But Bobby, Bobby Fallon has been taking it for 20, 30 years. <coughs> okay. But we would, um, we said we'd just take care of running and permitting and the cost of the whole thing. So Tracy and I did talk <coughs> off and on about if they, if the board wanted them to take over the transfer station, how we would do transition with like the, the permits and the punch cards. Mm -hmm. And I think the easiest way to do it would be for them to continue to take the punch cards that are already out and then we would reimburse them in the end when, you know, because they've already paid for them here. Right. Um, and um, when they could possibly take over, we're looking at seeing as how today's the first, if the board so chooses to start December first. Okay. And on the on the punch cards, as I told Dave, um, what we would do is we <coughs> just have to come up with something that was that was going to work for um, the town, the residents, town, and ourselves, um, because I think you're at two fifty a bag now. Um, 
So if somebody came in with it, 20 cents a pound, if somebody came in with 30 pounds of trash, it'd be six dollars. We so we'd punch it twice, and we would have something at market. There was a dollar into the next, um, into the next two into the next 250 you know mm -hmm. we would come up with some something somehow to do that whether it be give them back a receipt we keep a receipt we um, could work with you guys to figure out what's going to yeah. work the best we can okay. that was <laughs> right. kind of what we had thought on on, on that <laughs> yeah, it woke everybody up anyway. <coughs> Does anyone on the board have any questions? You currently do Brandon, is that correct? We don't. We've done it Anything for else? what's that? Any other town or just Brandon? Just Brandon. <coughs> How long are we saying? Four years. Be four years this fall. Yep. Yes. Four years in September. And it worked out well. It seemed to work out well for on the town, and it seemed to it's worked out well with the way you know the way we've been doing it. And basically, we would run the same thing, run it the same way as what we run this down here, the same way as what we run that up here. Are you under a five-year contract with them as well? What's that? Are you under a five-year contract with them as well? We've got five years, and we did um, we did put up uh, we added a structure covering up the stuff. So we actually I th I think that we're into I want to say that we've got 20 years when we get all done because of money that we put in we put in the building and structure that we have there. Basically, instead of costing the town extra money to update the structures, we said we would do it and. If for some reason under the ten years it didn't work out, they would the town would reimburse us anything yeah. after that for some reason something went south, you know, that's mm -hmm. it's <coughs> it's and a wash. But you know, and, and we yeah. wanna leave we wanna leave an out for the town on anything we do. We wanna leave an out for us. <coughs> um, you know, we <coughs> we go with five years because typically, as you know, equipment wise, it's a lot handier to have a five-year contract and um, it is to run three or two or mm -hmm. on a year-to-year -year thing. So now with this 20 cents a pound, would that hold for the five years? Um, depends what the price of depends what the price of fuel and the, and the price of trash does to us. Um, no, I, to, to answer your question, probably not. Okay. Um, well, that's fair. No, I just you know, it, it basically <coughs> runs with the with the price of trash, more or less. You know, if it if there's a little buffer room in there, so if it does go up, we can eat it a little bit. But it gets to a certain point, like this last time we had to move up, I think trash had gone up. Well, it was probably about ten, fifteen dollars a ton or more, and we played it out for a little while, and we finally had to raise their prices, but not. But I think we went two and a half years with the starting price that we started with. Um, so, you know, it just, it goes on. I mean, if, if all of a sudden fuel jumped to $8 a gallon, um, the price of trash, it, it, the cost to get rid of your trash is gonna go up at the transfer along with our transportation cost or whatever. So, you know, no, it, no, it wouldn't stay the okay. I don't no, see I, it would stay the same. Yeah. Right, okay. I, I would love to keep it the same, and we would keep it the same as long as we could. Um, and we don't have a problem coming to the town and discussing if we, you know, if it was something that we had to raise it. Okay. When you did raise it, did you give a little bit of lead time? We gave 60 days, 30 days. I think it was 30 days, just give everybody we had, a heads up. We had up. it posted <coughs> and we let everybody know that it was okay. coming into the transfer of the change. <coughs> and we did that when we had to do re start charging for recycling. Um, I think it was a month or a month and a half, roughly just to get people, that way we could go through, you know, somebody brings their recycling in and say, okay, you know, after February, this is going to be a dollar for this bag, or so on, just to give people a good idea of what it's going to cost them 
before the recycling, just try to give them a heads up. You know, when we originally started on the co-mingled and free, um, I'm, we had used originally, originally what they had for a structure to try to get on the recycling, and it was bends that shot down in your recycling went into your container on the bottom. And I had one that was plugged full. I said, what is in this? So I get down to the bottom and I'm trying to, and I, I can't reach, and I didn't have a ladder with me, and I, I've got a, I found a hockey stick, and I'm poking up through, and I can't get nothing, and I finally got a cardboard box enough so I could reach up and I grab the box. I give it a yank, and a microwave come out of it. <laughs> <laughs> they, you know, so they, you just, it was one of those things, we, we moved it because of stuff like that, where that we could keep a better eye on it, and a better, better handle on it, because we were getting because at that time it was free on the recycling and it, and it cost to get rid of a microwave. Yeah. And I mean that would be the only <coughs> cost on the, on the metal is anything that, like we have to pay to have, we have to have the Freon removed. So anything that would have Freon, it, Freon in it, there would be a charge. Air conditioners. Air conditioners, refrigerators, refrigerators freezers. Um, and we basically just, on those we basically charge what it would cost us to have the to have the freon to have that removed. <clears throat> so, I did have Ann give you um, the financials on where we're at mm -hmm. today, and we're already running at a loss of almost fifteen thousand dollars down there for this year. So, um, you know, and if if we if we move forward with the current contract, our recycling fees doubling already just for you know the tonnage. So. Right. We're definitely going to be over significantly if we, unless we raise prices ourselves, and um, so. So, on this, so I just want to <coughs> make sure I understand this. So the zero sort recycling, it's a dollar for a thirty-gallon bag. So two thirty-gallon bags would be two dollars. <coughs> Is that how I'm reading this? Okay. Yep. All right. So, but they could pull their cardboard. If they pull cardboard their cardboard out for free. in their your cereal boxes, your box board, your egg cartons, that stuff can be pulled out, and that's going to be, like I said, it, typically what we've done is we found that your that's if if they're on a weekly basis, their cardboard they probably aren't going to get a garbage bag full of cardboard a month. They definitely aren't going to get one a week. Um, we put that in there because in Brandon we have we have businesses that will come in with a pickup load of cardboard. Um, and we have an excavator that we just they dump it in there and we break it down or we crush it with the excavator. Um, <coughs> we don't know at this point if if you folks decided to go with us. We don't know what we would have down here if it'd be a loader or an excavator. So we would just ask for the cardboard to be broke down. Um, and we also understand that change is, you know, we would expect it to take two to three months for everything to run as smoothly as what it could to get all the Changes and everything. Go ahead, Joe. Uh, now, uh, we're currently under contract with Casellas. Can we? When does that? We're actually out of contract right now. So they're waiting for we us can, to sign. And we can make a decision if we want any. Exactly. Time. That's what's prompted this because our recycling fees are going to go through the roof. So, um, <coughs> yeah, we're at we're out of contract right now. So. Any other questions or comments from anyone? No? If I'm not in order, I no. make the motion that we go switch over. <coughs> what, what if uh, you guys raise it? How much you're talking to raise it? Have we you done any figures on that? Yeah, I think, did we figure we had a double to... to At least double. It's more, can I... Yeah, yep. please. <laughs> I crunched numbers one day in my office. 
we would have to charge at least $50 for the pass and $40 for each punch card to even attempt to <coughs> break even. Yeah. And that's even trying to do a recycling card of some value mm -hmm. um, because right now the with the new contract, if we were to sign it with Casella's, um, we don't know exactly how that's going to impact us. We know the prices are going to jump higher. Right. Um, so we would have to charge for recycling. We'd have to have a recycling punch card plus a trash punch card plus the permit, and it would be probably 50, 40, 30 in order to break even, or even try to break even. Yeah. We wouldn't need permits or punch cards if we're out of it. So. Yeah. Right, right, right now, the recycling, it costs more to get rid of the recycling than it does to get rid of the trash. Yeah. No. yeah, it's about 10 to $15. I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's 10 to $15 a ton more. <laughs> yeah. You know, for, yeah. for a while, it was close to 30 It's come down a little bit, and they don't yeah. really foresee it moving a whole lot. But You know, the difference being you go in with 22 yards of commingled recycling, you weigh a ton, a little over a ton, you go in with 18 yards of trash, you're going in with three, four ton. Well, I think one thing to look at too is, you know, not only with the way that, you know, we're seeing a loss here, like this loss is made up out of general fund money that the entire town would have to cover. Right. So that means people that aren't using the transfer station mm -hmm. are covering this cost mm -hmm. to have it there. So out of fairness, that's probably not, I mean, we just did this with the, with the sewer plant, you know, same thing to make sure that that was you know, covering its costs where, I mean, I think this one just, for us to keep doing it in-house and what we'd have to charge for it is, I don't know if it's feasible. We'd have to raise taxes quite a bit just for the, for this <coughs> to run the transfer station. Right. So they would be the cheaper option then? Or is it gonna wash out the same and you just have plausible deniability if the rates suddenly jack up, you can go, oh, they did it, we had nothing to do with well, it. Well, we're gonna have to jack the rates up no matter what. Right, I understand um, that. I, I mean, uh, that's a hard one to answer, Joe, because I don't know what people bring to the transfer station for trash. Um, so I, basically, I, you're just offing it, whether or not it's a better deal, you just want to get out of it, and that's it. Whatever it costs is up to no, whoever not, runs it. Not necessarily, it still, would need to be reasonable mm -hmm. for, for the residents to use it. Mm -hmm. I mean, one thing looking at here is just the amount of overhead involved with, you know, what the town is already doing with buying the permits, buying the punch cards, um, staffing it, um, maintaining everything down there. So, you know, there's there's a lot of overhead that the town won't have to cover anymore. And that and we added, haven't added been. goofiness, what's wrong with just taking cash? I mean, every transfer station I've ever dealt with anywhere usually takes cash. Whether you go in the office and there's somebody there behind glass or there's somebody in the booth, it usually, you know, you tell them how many bags that you have, they got a sign that tells you how much it is, you pay, have a good day. I don't know. That was the decision that was made I before I was... That. It was at the recommendation of the auditors about 10 years ago that it become Makes totally sense. cash free to save on liability of the town. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and I mean, if you if you run the numbers here, you're looking a dollar a bag for recycling yep. and say $6 a bag. So that's average of $7 a bag. I mean, I don't know what people, I know we seem to have more recycling than we do garbage for yeah. myself, but I don't do the transfer station. I hire somebody to come in and take my trash away. So personally, I'm having to subsidize everybody in town that's using the transfer station. I'm not saying I'm for or against that. It's, it is what it is. But I don't think it's fair, you know, that I subsidize. I mean, nobody's subsidizing my trash removal. But anyway, so if you're figuring it's 50-50, so that's $7 a bag, so that's three fifty a bag. That's less than what we would have to charge. Right. So, so they it would be the cheaper it, option. It, it appears that so. it would be the cheaper option. Okay. That's, that's what I was getting mind, at. In my mind, that's, I think yes. if, one, if that is. And then we don't have the liability in the transfer station. And the liability. One, one thing to think, too, like, you know, when we, when it's picked up by, you know, our current providers, we're charged by tonnage. So we're charged by weight. 
but we're not we're not taking it in by weight. We're right. taking it by bag. So right. if you got a you know a fifty pounds in a bag at two dollars and fifty cents, we've already lost a ton of money. So by the same token, though, if they're continuing with a punch card, even though they're talking about going by the pound. If I go in with a punch card and they punch me twice for a bag and I got 30 pounds of garbage in that bag. So we're only going to, the only reason we we're talking about the punch card before was because their people have already paid for them. Right. We're to make sure that so they were. So if they totally take out. over, they're going to do away with the punch cards? That's, right. This yes. would be just and then it will just be by the pound. Out. Right. <clears throat> so then you guys will have a scale there and we'll scale as we come in and scale yep. on the way out? Uh, no, so it's just a small <clears throat> scale. You just, when you'll pull up there and grab your bags and put them on the scale. And just we've got a sheet right there. So if it's if it's twenty pounds, it's four dollars. You know, if it's eight pounds, it just it goes right up through eight dollars. What's an average bag of garbage that you guys handle? <laughs> well, we I, I mean roughly we've, roughly twenty bucks or twenty, 20 pounds. pounds. <laughs> twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. Jesus. Expensive. Pounds. Yeah. Saying, <laughs> twenty pounds would be four dollars. That's okay. more of your average. Well, yeah, it sounds about it. You get more than thirty pounds in one of those bags, I mean, you're, and it's you got to rebag it. Yeah, right? it's gonna. Yeah. And the other thing that we found, I don't this, them, so one of the comments that we had when we first started opening <laughs> is, um, and we did the same in this, it'd be a $2 minimum, you know, so if it was five pounds, but there was a lot of people that, you get a lot of people that are right on that 10 pound, nine pound, that, you know, they're paying two bucks, so at 250 a bag, they're, I mean, it's not a big savings, but at 50 cents a bag. To somebody on a fixed income, that's and, and that's what we that's what we found back at our when we did it in Brandon. We were at a dollar fifty minimum to start with. We've now gone to two dollars. Mm. Um, we have a lot of retired folks that come in that they have their couple little bags of garbage. They have a little bit of compost and a little tiny thing of recycling, and you know it usually costs them three bucks. Okay, that's good to know. You know, because it just hits the minimum across the board <laughs> for us and. So it's three dollars a week for them, and they're happy. Mm -hmm. They can't have someone pick it up for that. <laughs> no. Yeah, no kidding. No. They, just, they plan their day, go into town. You know, when the transfer station's open, and <clears throat> yeah. works out good. Dave and Ann, do you know how long we've been negative? How many years? We went back three years, so we have. It's we been probably at least five. I don't know further than that back, um, but I would say it's been at least five. Been roughly. Every, Every year has been incrementally more. Yeah. Was, that's my next yeah. question. Yeah. So I think it started off, you know, really small, and then it's just been kind of snowballing. This is going by the weight charge. That's what's getting yeah. us there. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Sure. Why does all the town reports have it listed under the revenues and the expenditures that we are under on expenditures and we were over on revenue that was set by the budget. All the town reports. Because I've watched, I that's the only thing I've ever town got report, is the town yeah, so I can, I can pull one and look. Yeah. Um, if you want. I, had, I should have brought the, the numbers that are in the town report should have come directly from where Ann's pulling them. I mean, that's how the yeah. budget's created. Well, that's, this, I'm so. just curious, because like, nobody ever told me any of this, so I'm just learning it all now. If I'd known we were, it was doing that, we could have talked about up in the prices long ago. But nobody ever let me know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it always showed that we were under, under what was budgeted. No, I think I last year was seven, Seven thousand something. We were under. Over. Uh, over Thirty-eight or something. They're over. Not according to the town report. You probably have one right behind you. We have a stack of them right back there. Or did they get moved when we painted? <laughs> it's just things I wasn't told about. I just like mm. to know. Well, I'm why. In, in in agreement with you, I think. We're finding there's things we haven't been told to, so you're not alone. Good. If that's the newest one, go to page 25 or 30, I think it is, or 25. Started on page 5. Might have been the other book. I had two, I had the last two.
You guys are kind of putting me on the spot here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is fun. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, might, someone want to sing or something? What I'm doing. a second on this motion so we can. Did yeah, we get a second? I will second it. Okay. So it's yeah, I know. I thought I heard oh, something over here in the motion, eh? left. Yeah. Joe, Joe made a motion. motion. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Joe made a motion. I will second it so that we're open least, for discussion. Yes. Open for discussion. Yes. Not hanging. I think the fact that price that we get for recycled stuff is not what it used to be, so that's, that's going to mm. put us in the red yeah. more and more here in the last year or two. Yep. <clears throat> so this shows twenty-two for revenues. The, they budgeted forty-four thousand, and actually came under at forty-two thousand. So that's that would be a loss. The budget for twenty-three is this year. I'm sorry, for twenty-three was last year. I don't see actuals for that year, and we're in this one right now. So there's no actuals for FY twenty-three. Year that was in the but that's showing a loss right there. Yeah. Budget versus actual. But that's budget. That's there's a difference between what we budget and what no, actually. No, that's what I'm saying. Gets like spent. so. Well, but, no, but I don't have actuals for yeah. FY23 in here. It's only actuals for FY22, and that does show that the revenues were down. Okay. So, let's see if I can find expenses now. So this is showing that in 22, I would have to pull the regular numbers, I think, yeah. though. But this, this is showing that there was not a loss in revenue. Hmm. And I'm thinking this is the revenue side. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm right. sorry. This is the expense side. So, yeah, it is showing that the total solid waste expense is not. Hmm. So. That was what was confusing me. Where did but you I pull? was looking into it more. I pulled the numbers from what Sullivan Powers gave me. And the numbers for the negative for the last fiscal year, not this year, but last fiscal year was how much? Negative? No, so not the fiscal year we're in now, but the one we right. ended in June. The loss was forty five thousand dollars roughly. And that's according to our according to our general ledger. And that was that was what they showed when they did the review. We haven't got the audit back from the new auditors yet this year, but I'm confident that's what they're going to mm -hmm. be showing. So was it. Do you have any luck figuring it out, Dave? Not in this book. Um, we'd have I, if I went. We went in Emmerich, We could figure it out immediately. But it, it, I don't see where like there's like under supplies, which is in this this year's budget for the passes and the or the you know the permits and the. It's only saying that there was three hundred dollars spent. Which I mean, what was it? Nine hundred dollars. Just year. spent so that, nine hundred. That doesn't seem accurate no. to me. So yeah. I I think we have to pull so our budgets. Well, we've got the budgets right here in everybody's packets. Oh, on page two are the budgets and actuals for fiscal year 23. On page two is the solid waste revenues. Actual revenues was 47365 And the actual expenses. Sorry, give me a second. Are... Ninety 
and those are on page 13. It starts on page 12 and ends on 13. <coughs> so you, we brought in 47.365. We spent 90.37.314.89. You said page 13? Page 13 at the top, the top third, it says total solid waste recycling budget actual fiscal year 23. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, we're away. Well, that was just a question. I wanted to see mm -hmm. why the town report was off so far on showing things. So well, does the town report, because you've got, I mean, you've got labor, you've got all this stuff in here. Does the town report take that into account for uh, each? Well, it should. Oh, yeah, it should. should. I know it should. should be generating. Um, again, I wasn't here for this, so. No, 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 we I know. Be, well, we should be yeah. taking the actuals from the memory from this. Yeah. Right, and putting it in the book. The, mm -hmm. You know, Wasn't I mean, that's happy. how you're going to get your 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 actual actual numbers. Right. right. So, and then you've got to take your expenses, you know, or your revenues, and subtract your expenses, or yep. vice versa, if ever figure out. So, you know, you've still got to show what. It, well, yeah, because this, because what were you saying? It was around forty-two thousand for waste removal. Is that what you saw? Well, they saw they had it in. Uh, I can probably, if that's the last report, I can look, I can show you what I was looking at. Is that this the is last year's? Yes. That's like 22. Can I take a look at it there, Dave? I'll find it and show it to you. Uh -huh. I just want you to well, see where it was. And we're going to, I would, I would refer to the numbers in our, you know, our budget reports that are calculated daily versus what yeah. may or may not have made it into a... No, for sure. Well, that's what, what I wonder you know. if, because there's a lot of other expenses other than just right. waste removal there. Right. right. This one had all the labor and everything else in it. Okay. I just see right here, this shows, like, for supplies for FY23, they budgeted 1000 spent almost 1500 So, labor went over. Okay. All right. Reason fuel went over. They've got it in here. They budgeted ninety six thousand three sixty for it, and at the end, actual for that year was eighty nine. Eighty thousand eight ninety two. So I, I don't even know where those numbers are coming from. Well, that's but that's a that's, but that's that's a budget, that's, that's, number. that's a budget number. That's not an actual number. Yeah. So yeah. so like last year, your revenues. It's not the same thing. No. It's two different things. And you're there. Okay. So. Hmm. I'm not sure well, where that. Yeah. See, so yeah, these are the only numbers I had. Was the down yeah. reports. Mm -hmm. I understand why I didn't know anything about it. <coughs> well, yeah. I just have this year yeah. right in front of us, too. Because, so. yeah, we came in under budget, but we still didn't cover our expenses. That's right. The, right. That's the that's difference. What was happening. That's what was happening. <coughs> yeah. And we're not covered for our. If we sign the new contract. We're not even close to where we would need to be to cover expenses for the rest of the year. Right. So. Sort of. Kimberly. Yes. Yeah. These guys take your bell. <laughs> so we had a uh, we had a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Yeah. Yep. If if the town doesn't take it over, who's going to pay the electricity for the building? That's electric heated. Yep. Good question. We pay it. Yep, then go right into it. But it's not separate meters. So you're going to pay for the town buildings that are down there too? No. Well, uh, how are you going no. to do it then? You're going to. Uh, that, that's that's, that's need something. A need a meter down there. That's need a meter. I mean, that's yeah, something that's. So there. somebody's got to yeah. have, have it wired. That's easy enough to take care of. Well, you may think Probably. so until you Probably find out. Put it up, I would say. 
Yeah. Green Mountain charges a pretty penny to put a meter on. Yeah. I know. I work there. I bet it, I bet it doesn't cost forty-five thousand dollars, even fourteen thousand dollars. That we've already lost this year, though. <coughs> Right. Well, depending on how about. far you got to move it, if you're going to move the meter, because I was looking at moving the meter it. and it was going to cost me about $20,000. Yeah. It's three <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know. any further discussion? Well, that's a fair question. No, it is oh, a very yeah. fair question. Yeah. And I, I, we have a campground. And we meter, we meter each one of our, each one of our campers. Um, I mean, if there was a way of doing that to meter the transfer station, we wouldn't have an issue of doing it that way either. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I know this for what we have to put on. They're just a, it's a small meter and. Maybe they don't even make anything that way, but if, if they did, we wouldn't have an issue of the town billing us right. a way that they could separate that out. It might be a uh, less costly way of doing it. Right. I'll take a look into that. But I mean, definitely willing to look into putting in a meter to cover the cost of that. Mm -hmm. That's food, pair on electric yeah. down there as well. So now you you probably don't use you just dump it in the dumpster and take it. You don't compact it, right? No, we compact with the excavator. So I mean, we right. took out. So you, we took so the what are you going to have lights and? I'm sorry, we have his lights. We don't yeah. use the we aren't. We would take out. That's one thing we'd want to do is we'd want to take out. One of the, the compactors is ours, and one is Casella's. I think the trash one is ours, and the recycling one is theirs. Hmm. Yeah, if I remember. I can look yeah, at the contract. Right. There's a couple things we own. <laughs> that's that. right. Geez. Um, and if you know, we can make room. When we first started in Brandon, we didn't even use because we couldn't use it the way it was set up. So we just set up in the parking lot and we were able to just throw it in the box and we kept it compacted right in the parking lot. We just kind of moved things around. So There's plenty of room to make it work. I mean, the only place, you know, this time of the year is the only time that we really would need lights um, from now going out. And that's all we use is, that's all we use is lights. I am. Okay. Any more questions for I take a vote? No. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Are you guys okay with us working on negotiating a contract that we can have signed? Yes. Okay. All right, well, thank you very much for coming in. All right, well, thank you. For planning and answering thank questions. You. Thank you. Thanks, hey, have a good night. Have yeah, a good night. you, you too. too. Take care. Hey, guys. Take care. All right, um, Snowmad's request. It's the same every year. I didn't, there's no changes to the roads. So. I move um, to approve. <clears throat> All in favor say aye. Aye. Um, query estimate for water and sewer. Let me get there. So. Sean came to me a couple months ago. The airline that's in our in our our uh, oxidation pond there or pit has um, it started to flake, and you can see the air actually the bubbles actually starting to come out of it. Oh. So, um, Corey, which is right in town, he had them come look at it to see what it would cost to replace it. We actually thought it was going to be quite a bit more than this because they have to drain down to put it. So the pipe comes in. And it and it takes a it takes a, a turn and goes right down into the bottom of the of the of the, the pit there, so um, you know they'll drain it down, and put a new line in, um, stainless steel. So I guess it's been doing it for a while. And I went down like you can see like the little air bubbles coming out of the line. So it definitely needs to be replaced because <coughs> they are for our aeration. <coughs> So no, was it stainless before or just steel? I don't think so. I did. I, if it was, it's no. It's definitely just steel because it's flaking. Yeah. So it's not stainless. Yeah. Yeah, it's flaking. Probably should have been. Yeah. <laughs> One would have thought. Yeah. 
Was this included in his budget from last year, or is this something that just came up? Um, this wasn't noticed until probably three months ago that okay. it was doing it. So, you know. But it's not going to get any better. Could um, be fixed before cold weather, probably. That would be nice, just to if have it possible. done and then not have to worry about it. Yeah. Right. to be done then it needs yeah. to be done yeah. it needs to be for a motion yep <laughs> i move that we move on uh replacing this zero okay second, uh, any further discussion all in favor say aye. Aye. aye aye so this could come out of like capital money too that's been put aside for i mean that's what it's there for so yep. okay right. we'll, we'll make sure that we figure that out we'll all right rec fees <coughs> for 23 so. 24. Liz has included um, a little spreadsheet here with um, rec fees for resident and non resident, <coughs> and um, just looking for board approval on that. <coughs> I don't know if Ann has anything more to consider. And I don't on think that. they're even, are they even up much they're from? I know, they're, I can't tell if they're. Not, it, some of them went up like five dollars some of them were the same um i believe camp has uh, does she have camp on here yes no yeah, summer, summer camp, camp was a big one uh so, okay, summer camp did go up by about 25 dollars but what she and i did was we kind of compared to what rutland rec proctor brandon mm -hmm. are all kind of doing because we're all in the same kind of strip line and i told her that you know we can't really be much below Rutland Rec and Brandon Rec and all that because we have the same expenses, so we kind of put it in line with yep. them. Um, so there's, there's no other real big increases besides the summer camp. No, like I said, there might be two dollars here, four dollars yep. there, five dollars there. I think, I think baseball last year might have been uh, like thirty-five dollars, and now she wants to do forty-five. Rutland Rec charges fifty-five and sixty-five. I know. Proctor charges 55 for a lot of theirs. Mm. Um, I'm not sure what Brandon charges. Okay. So she was just trying to get hers in line with everyone else. Yeah. And with these, we're covering all our expenses? As best we can, yeah. I mean, rec costs a little bit more than what all the fees bring in because mm -hmm. it's rec. But yeah. it, it, it's going to help cover more of the expenses than probably it previously has for some of these. Some of these were adjusted last year too, correct? Right? Yes. So we got to be really close anyway. Right. Yeah. yeah. We put every other time. every other yeah. year or two, we have to bump them because yep. it just costs more. Yeah. Yep. And I think she did raise the pavilion right rates slightly. And she also changed the group area swim fees. It used to be either 50 or more children. Um, she just did a per child groups of 51 to 100 and groups of 11 to 50 just to try to make it easier when. Okay. Other um, towns, yeah. Uh, summer programs brought their kids mm -hmm. just to make it an easier oh. flat fee instead of. Well, on this day, you know, we right. actually ended up having thirteen kids, not yeah, 15 or whatever. I know there's full bus loads of kids that come from other towns in the summer. Yeah. Well, it looks good to me. <coughs> well, should we accept the fees that was presented? All second. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. Look at budgets. Police budget. You'd like to take that away, Chief, or uh, do you want to talk about your budget? Um. Can you tell me what page it's on page first? Revenue is on page four. Page four. Right on the top. What do you want me to talk about? <laughs> How much more do you want? <laughs> well, that's on their expenses. Um, you want me to talk? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So I based the traffic fines on what we actually received for fiscal year 23. Um, this is something variable every year. It depends on <coughs> how many officers we have on duty and what kind of vehicles we pull over. So I kept it close to the actual for fiscal year 23 serving court papers um, 
I based it kind of on what we've actually received already this year and what was actual at the end of fiscal year 23. <coughs> Average amount said $200 was good. Uh, so kind of same thing for insurance report. Parking tickets, I put zero because they're hit or miss after having a conversation with Chief. He's the only one that likes to write parking tickets. Um, well, so daytime. I mean, yeah, it yeah. It makes a difference daytime versus nighttime. Sure. And then I don't like miscellaneous. Yeah. I don't like to try to wait for miscellaneous income to appear. Mm -hmm. And grant income, I don't want to, we never know if we're going to get a grant or not, so I don't like that's true, that. yep. Chittenden Patrol, I based it on our contract that we're in this year. And Omnia Truck Detail, I based it on what was originally budgeted. Usually that ends up going over with Omnia, but I, I don't want to inflate say numbers, yeah. That we're going to get more than what right. was originally. So okay. That's why it looks like it's a little bit of a loss. Mm hmm. Okay. I was trying to stay. Well, I think one thing that we discussed in the That's last cool. budget discussion was that trying to get the, the revenue lines to be a little more accurate because they do kind of screw stuff up <coughs> the end of the year. If we're predicting high, it's almost better to go a little bit lower than what we're anticipating. You know, yeah. It's more actual. Yep. Okay. Expenses start on page 14 and go to 15. Um, well, the things that I'm looking at, like labor and stuff, we I have no control over that. Um, the overtime thing, there isn't a lot of it because I'm the only one that's full time that qualifies for that. And then all the lot, uh, the all the insurances and stuff, I have no control over. Mm -hmm. um, And then we get into so Chittenden patrol expense. Yeah, I uh, based it. That contract has gone up a little more. Therefore, the expense is going to go up a little bit. Same with Omnia truck detail. Um, I looked at what we actually spent last year for Omnia truck detail. Um, uniforms I went up slightly because uh, with new officers coming on, if we get new officers. Uh, they're going to be need the uniforms potentially. Right. Patrol car fuel and maintenance. I went up. We have three vehicles now. Three vehicles with you know with fuel and breakdowns and whatnot. Hopefully we don't have a lot of them, but I wanted to prepare for that. And communications and telephone. I joined together again because as I said before, I don't see the difference between a telephone and a communication device. Mm -hmm. uh, and the new car replacement fund went up. And we've had talked about that at the last when we talked about yeah. getting the last one that we wanted to raise that. So I raised it up to twenty five thousand dollars to keep us more in line with what our next vehicle cost will be. And what to was get it us before? Yeah. It was fifteen thousand before, so it's raising it ten thousand yeah. um, dollars. And labor, we went up on. Um, Mm -hmm. Not sure if we're going to hit that number or not, but I was looking at what our actual so far this year are, what our expenses were last year, knowing that we've had one officer, part-time officer come off, one part-time officer come on, but this year for the first few months, uh, one of our part-time officers has been on medical leave and hadn't been able to work. So I was looking at when they come back and they're added back to the... Mm -hmm mix what that's going to do to the budget okay <clears throat> yeah, i think looking at some of these items like just trending like with the fuel you know it's we're already at you know 25 percent at six grand we know that's going to go over twenty thousand if we keep buying fuel the way we are just because of the cost so you know that's that's one of the bigger ones for uh, increase, and uh, like Ann said, with the replacement fund. So, anyone have any questions? <coughs> well, 
looks like last year for uh, FY23 that <coughs> over budget like 20 nine percent twenty four thousand nine percent over but we were also on the flip side our, our revenue was that's higher what too. I was just yeah. going to say I was it, trying to it, figure it out it usually if our expenses go up you know and we're over budget it's due to the labor and the Omnia and Chittenden patrol expenses which on the flip side means we probably got more tickets more Chittenden and more Omnia revenue yeah. so it's one of those things it's a give and take well my point was we're up 14 percent in revenue so we're only off about 10,000 mm. so given that the variables that's that's not bad Chief, do you see the uh, income? Oh, we've got budgeted in here. Uh, maybe once a, we're up, you're showing about seven thousand up in traffic fines. I mean, you just had a big month, obviously, and you know what you did. Do you see that being accurate on what we're budgeting for here? Do you see that? Yeah, yeah I do, uh, Mark. I do see it as being accurate, but um, to be honest with you, Omni is slow right now. Yeah. So. When they're slow, trucks coming in, we're slow getting them. Good points. Um, so we're all, but their their money's still coming in. The hourly rate is all coming in every month. Um, but we try, it, like Ann said, this this last few months, uh, one of my guys have been out. So me and Stefan tried to, and we did pretty good. I think we wrote 37 tickets this month, mm -hmm. um, which is pretty good for us, for two of us doing it, mm -hmm. you know. So we try to keep the pace up, but we're coming into the season when roads will get slippery and it'll be hard traveling, and then we rely more on Omnia. So yeah. it's kind of hit or miss with us, Mark. Yeah. But we try to keep them up as best we can. is is we've increased the donation to the new car fund that's yeah really what we're looking at here yep. so pretty much yeah yeah mm -hmm. which has to be done so be not pulling out of nowhere. and maybe there's other things in the work to generate revenue okay. that's always nice we're, we're hoping we're hoping is there nice. any update on the uh West Rock, and I think Proctor, y'all said last month. <laughs> Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Because that would certainly be uh, an effect on the budget. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I know West Rock is pretty busy. I don't know if one or two part time officers being able to cover all three is going to cut the cheese. I think you're probably going to have to up your man, whether it's more personnel or more full time personnel, mm -hmm. and what they're going to be willing to pay for that service and that's what it all hinges yep. on they've got to pay for it and we got to make money yeah right you know but you also have to be able to put them forward and make the change so that's still just a discussion at yeah. this point and i um, hoping to have some more possibly next week with both towns and um, seeing what their needs and wants are too and what they're what they can afford so that mm -hmm. it kind of hinges on that you know okay um that'll certainly affect next year's budget if it goes into effect next year we did this budget based on status quo yeah right. yep and yeah, we'll that's way to do it yep needed, right there's, um, yeah there's As a lot of factors in the house <laughs> status quo <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, all right awesome. anything else on that Okay. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So you subbing in for a uh, rec, rec budget as well? I'm doing rec. So revenues on pages two and three. Um, 
Liz and I went over her budget extensively, and you're going to see a lot of the say negative 100%. We are trying to consolidate her down so she is not three pages in a budget. Um, okay. A lot of things can be consolidated. She and I have talked about it. You know, we were breaking out revenues in the spring for youth league, girls softball, youth league donations, and we said that all should just be under spring programs. Mm -hmm. so you're going to see a vast difference in the revenues um, in the way we're setting it up. And we tried to base it on what was actual for fiscal year 2023, not what was kind of randomly chosen. Right. Um, we're trying to base it on facts and numbers and where she saw, um, you know, soccer land and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm saying what would potentially go forward um, she does have plans to help try to get more daily gate fees and more of those day passes and stuff revenue instead of uh, the way it's been but it's going to take time yeah she's still new to the position we're still trying to figure things out um, she does plan on doing the day camp registrations we uh, did a thousand dollars under what was made actual for last year she's not going to have the director that she had last year for day camps she's searching for one currently okay um but she feels like she can probably have close to the same number of kids not quite sure though at this point so she wanted to reduce that slightly um I don't know which ones you want me to go over. I, we cut trail run revenue just because <coughs> in the last few years it hasn't generated the revenue that it used to when it first started. Uh, so we said, oh, yeah. let's look at realistic numbers. Realistically, we've been bringing in between 2,500, 2,800. So we budgeted for $2,500 in revenue for that. Okay. <coughs> Group picnic charges. She's actually probably on course to have a better than three thousand dollar a year but we looked at what was last year and said you know where do we think we might end up landing it's hard to say we don't know what the usage is going to be and we don't know what kind of weather we're going to have True. and weddings birthdays that kind of thing um but she is planning activities down there too which will take some of the days away any other any questions on revenue for rec no and then her expenses start on page 16 and go through page 18. Uh, uh, the management and labor we try not to raise it too much grounds management you'll see we raised it a little bit more than um, the normal because we looked at what was actually being required the busier the wreck is the more maintenance there is kind of thing um, and did we add my wreck in here I was looking at that today and I'm trying to figure out where she stuck it. I am not sure where my rec. So one is. one thing we'll be able to remove on this is the rubbish removal line because we won't we're so gonna go to toters anyway because we have a dumpster down there now. So oh, okay. with this new yeah. thing, you know, it we'll we'll be able to eliminate that cost. We kept the cost in there for this next yep. year though. Um, one as a bit of a buffer and two to buy those toters that we're going to need going forward because we know that they can be expensive <coughs> um, spring programs you're going to see it looks like it jumped drastically that's because we took supplies youth league trail run softball 5k race and combined them I believe all up in spring programs so that we don't have individual lines for baseball softball yeah yeah etc um, the same with league fees and coaches umps we took the state league membership and moved it up to that line as well telephone and communications we combined mm -hmm. um, and I also we raised it slightly um, Liz is talking about wanting to be down at the rec more in the summertime and working down there so that is going to require an internet access down there so that 
is going to raise that line slightly. Okay. Um, and then on the back side, we still will need the porta potties down there because we keep the ones in the upper field for during softball season so that the girls don't have to try to run down across the bridge get to the bathroom and get back up before their turn up to bat. Yep. Um, to keep it on to buy the building and grounds maintenance we raised because we got rid of ball field maintenance. We said why is ball field maintenance broke out from building and grounds? Ball fields are on the grounds. Right. That makes sense. Um, and we're no longer doing the transfer of labor and equipment used by highway and water and that, so we eliminated those. Uh, more maintenance we went up just because the cost of maintenance and fuel has gone up. And I was looking at what we actually spent for fiscal year 2023. And we went up slightly in the comp capital fund contribution because we know if we get the grant, we're going to have to have some matching funds to go with the grant. We'd like to have it ready okay. when the time comes. It's probably good for us to have something like that in our departments too when grants do pop up because as we know, they sometimes they're unexpected and yeah. if they're worth applying for to where we can leverage some money, mm -hmm. it's nice to have our match there. So. Definitely. But if anybody has any questions on the entire rec budget, I can mm -hmm. try to answer them. Okay. And if I don't have the answer, I can get it from Liz. <coughs> it does look like you have to add that my rec expense on there, but uh, <coughs> taking the trash out, or you know, is, that's. We have to try to cancel each other out, is what you're saying? Not then quite, but it'd be, it's we not We also good. have a thousand in there for donation related expense, which we don't know as we have any donations coming in, so we could use that money mm -hmm. towards my rec as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any questions? No? All right, let's move on to management departments. Oh, that would be me. Get to my, my revenue page. Uh, it looks like page five um, for revenue. <coughs> no, I'm sorry, that's expenses. That's expenses. We don't really have much for revenues. No. We don't take we don't take any money down here on this end of the building. No. So um, I guess we can just look at that. Um, our department's actually down 5% for next year that we're projecting. Um, some were, you guys got me a little cheaper than the last <coughs> person, so that was one of them. Um, what else are we looking at here? So some of the insurances went down because of the same thing. A lot of that had to, a lot to do with. Overwork. Yep. yep. Um, mileage because we well that's contractual so that dropped down quite a bit too 33 percent so um and there's really not much more in here i mean you know training expenses for basically ann and i um and you know we're, we're trying to go to you know some of these trainings that are actually worth going to and that's really it it's pretty straightforward most of it's most of it's payroll you're down five percent yeah. Buy more and save, right? Um, so one of the things, I mean, seeing as how we, I mean, if I don't have any questions on this, first of all, one of the things that, you know, we've all been talking and sort of Ann and I talk daily on this with looking at some other things that we think might make this budget look easier would be easier to read for folks and everything is like when all of our insurances come in it's all split out between departments mm -hmm. and you know it's kind of a hard cost that really shouldn't affect departments budgets that there should just be it's not intergovernmental I'm trying to think of what it's called 
there's a name for those sort of hard costs. Um, to have it all there so we see what it is and not go through every department and try to break it out and see what it, you know, what it's, I mean, it's sort of the cost of doing business. Um, what's up? It's not fixed because it's not steady. Right. I, there's a name for it. I can't remember. I mean, we did the same thing in the town I used to work in. So. But um, looking at that, I mean, that's something that we, you know, it, it's going to mess things up a little bit, be, but we'd have to just trend. We'd have to follow up for a little while to make sure that, you know, it's tracking right. Um, and the other thing we were talking about, too, was we're sort of on this mission to get our supplies lined down <coughs> um, in this building. So I think we've made some really big jumps with it already and we're just going to continue to do that because there's a lot of stuff here we don't really need so um you know just some of those things mm -hmm. um so were you talking so like the insurance would be basically its own budget so we would so for like vlct stuff you know would like we're um not workers comp but like our our property you know basically our property and casualty and um workers comp comes out of payroll anyway um what else would there be? And there was the garages, buildings. You know, like our county tax should be in that department. I'm, I can't Property think liability, of. employment practices. Um, there's a couple. All our liability and stuff. Yeah. But like county tax should be in that department too. I'm trying to think of what it. There's a name for it. I'm just blanking out on it. County tax. Right now we have. In I don't think it's an intergovernmental, is it? I'm trying to find it. It would be an interdepartmental. Yeah, there's another name for it, and I'm just, I can't think of what it is right off the top of my head. So <coughs> just trying to make it more user friendly, I guess, to really see where, where our costs are. Yeah, and the other thing is postage. We have postage, like, everywhere. Right. Oh, yeah? It, it, yeah, if you go to the postage meter, we have to put what. It, what if it's for the town manager, if it's for the assessors, if it's for the police, if it's for the highway. Right. It, you know, if we're doing tax bills. To me, postage is postage is postage is postage. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're using postage in this building, it's a postage expense. And, right? and like toner cartridge, like copier supplies. Yeah, copier supplies they were bringing it's all, out. It's all a business expense. By department in this building. Okay. So if assessors used it, if zoning used it. If yeah. How do you even know who used it? Because of the type it is. Like certain ones go to certain places. Because we have, oh, it's crazy. Like, I got rid of the one in my office because seriously, it's first. right here and I'm kind of lazy, so it's good that I get up and get out. But, you know, there's <coughs> all these different printers that are using multiple, you know, it's kind of crazy. Like, everyone in here doesn't need a printer right, right. and a scanner and a copier mm -hmm. in their offices because right. we have right. two, two big, big printers. So, yeah. you know, I think as those kind of filter out, we're just going to get rid of them. Yeah. So. So I think Liz got rid of hers too, didn't she? Liz yep. got rid of hers. You got your, rid of yours. Yep. I kept mine because of the billing that I do right. for now, at least. And that saves the cost on this. And mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, but you know, we're just trying to do some of those little things to sort of offset some some costs and um, so. Over you can't the think next three years, else, your budget's right? going to look completely different than it does now. It'll be yeah. less lines, and I think it makes it. So people in the community can pick it up and understand it better. Like, mm -hmm. well, why is there postage here? Why is there postage yeah. here? And why is there postage yeah. here? What's yeah. a miscellaneous mm -hmm. expense? I hate miscellaneous yeah. lines. Yeah. I, don't those lines. Yeah. I do too. So yeah. this yeah. way, I think it's more transparent instead of being mm -hmm. in assessor's miscellaneous and knowing that it's toner cartridges only in this building. We just put it to the office supplies expense that covers. Mm -hmm. yeah. This building. I mean, we're you know we're all working under this. You know, it's all right. the town of Pittsford, so it's you know. Yeah, anything that makes it easier to read. Long we're not going to make Chad way. pay for a stamp if he needs to send something out no. from the highway department. No. You know, just some of those things where it's <coughs> um, it's more expensive to follow it than it is. It's now. time consuming. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. waste more yeah. time. It is. Yeah. 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 It's 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 yeah. yeah, all this stuff. Yeah. 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 <coughs> so. All right. That's the right Great. Any any other questions or not concerns or I mean, obviously we're not done with everything, so we know we'll have more not later. I'll be meeting with fire and res uh, first response both next week, so they'll be presented at the okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Um, anything on the orders?
Oh, I already got the answer to mine because when I went through okay. and saw we spent nine hundred dollars on dump. <laughs> Uh, what is it? Dump uh, permits and cards because I found a few, but then Ann explained they had to be ordered like months ago. Yeah. So, anyway, it is what it is, I guess. Okay. So, most of the, the, the number is kind of large on the orders, and most of that's, well, 80% um, of it is from our paving budget. So, yeah. you know, yes. it's Pike and um, yeah. also the, the, the chip seal folks. So. I hope that chip seal holds up because it does look good. Yeah. yeah. It I, looks. I walked around on it. It's yeah, did you? good stuff. Nice. Yeah. I hope it works. Well, it's what they used to do years ago. Yeah. 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 I think Chad, they did it on part of Oxbow years ago. Yeah, which ago. is, yes. I think it's in year three. Yeah. You can pave over it, too. At least two yeah. years in the <coughs> Is it one? And it's just, yeah, it's, do, it's two, done yeah. great. It's so, perfect you know, what, I mean, it does a couple things. Like, it does, you know, make the surface better. But it's one thing I really like that Chad really looks at how, you know, longevity of, of a asphalt road and getting the water off of it is what saves the road. So, you know, doing your crack sealing so the water's not going through it and pushing your road up or down or whatever. And then this seal that goes over it, it is, it's, you know, it's, it's weatherizing your road to yeah. a point. Yeah. So um, that's a good thing because, you know, the less we have to, like, do a complete reclaim, the better off we are. Right. So, Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Like I said, I hope it holds up. Yeah. Seems good. Yeah. <coughs> that chip seal they put up on the Arkansas Road a couple of years ago, it was a, that was the first, I believe, they yep. did it. The base of that road is pretty damn good. Yep. And that chip seal, I was amazed at how well that yep. Yep. back in there. And yeah. And it's quick. Seems like it was yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. It's a quick application, which is really neat. Mm. So. Could have fallen right over it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. As long as your base is made yep. good and solid, you're that's what costs the money. Is if we got to rebase it and well, redo it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where it's kind of wet ground stuff, the base yep. has got to be overhauled first. Yeah, our roads are in good shape. It's I impressive, actually. Well, we so. can sign orders now if no one else has any questions. There's minutes. I'll just hand you the stack. There's two payrolls in there, two full leashes.